Hello everyone. Welcome to the Owned Curiosity Channel. Today we're going to talk about a mythical place in Norse mythology, the Valhalla. Valhalla is the majestic hall of the gods, where warriors killed in battle are taken to live a life of eternal feasting and battles. In this video, I'm going to tell you a bit about the history and mythology behind Valhalla, how you get there, and what happens when warriors arrive. So, let's do it! What is Valhalla? Valhalla is described in Norse myths as a huge and magnificent golden hall located in Asgard, the realm of the gods. According to mythology, half of the warriors killed in glorious combat are chosen by the Valkyries, beautiful battle maidens who serve Odin, to go to Valhalla after death. There they spend their days feasting, drinking meat and beer, and hunting boars and other animals in the woods around. At night, their battle wounds are healed and they are brought back to life for more feasting. In the morning, they ride out of Valhalla's golden gates and battle to the death again, in an eternal cycle of feasting and battle. The Valkyries and the Ride to Valhalla When a courageous warrior dies in combat, a Valkyrie descends from the skies on her winged horse and takes him to Valhalla. The Valkyries are warrior women who serve Odin and have the task of choosing and transporting the greatest warriors to the Hall of the Gods. They fly through the skies looking for battles and watching warriors fighting bravely. When they find one worthy enough, they descend to the battlefield in the form of white swans and carry the warrior's soul on the hooves of their horses to Valhalla's golden gates. Description and Details of Valhalla Valhalla is described as having 540 gates, each wide enough for 800 warriors to pass through side by side. The roof is made of golden spears and the hall is so large it would take days to walk across it. In the center, there is a huge feasting hall where warriors feast on roast boar and mead, served by beautiful Valkyries. There is also a forest with armor-covered trees that provide meat and renewed shields each morning. A river called Thund flows around the hall, its waters formed by the warrior's spears. Valhalla also has many districts and 500 gates leading to other halls. Every day, the warriors ride out through one of these gates to the battlefield where they will fight and die heroically. Ragnarok and the Fate of Valhalla According to the Norse prophecy of Ragnarok, or the final destiny of the gods, there will come a day when the giants will attack Asgard and the gods will battle them in a catastrophic fight. On that day, even Valhalla's warriors will fight alongside Odin. The prophecy says that in the end, Valhalla will be destroyed in flames and many of the gods and heroes will die. However, after that, there will be a rebirth, the surviving gods will rebuild Asgard, and a new cycle will begin. Therefore, despite its temporary nature, Valhalla's glory will persist through the ages in Norse mythology. And that concludes our tour through Valhalla, the majestic hall of heroes in Norse mythology. I hope you enjoyed learning a bit more about this legendary place, its meaning, and significance to the Vikings. Let me know in the comments if you liked it and what else you'd like to see on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to receive our videos every week. See you next time.